guys, today I'm in my old hood, Elwood, which I happen to think is the best place to live in Melbourne. That's a big call, I know, but I went there. So it's safe to say I am super jealous of anyone that gets to live in this beautiful tree-lined suburb, and I'm probably gonna be jealous for this entire home tour, but I'm gonna move all of that jelly off to the side to make sure I show you around this superbly renovated double front in Victorian. Let's go take a look. incredible feel to it, super generous in size. That wide entrance leads you into this incredible kitchen and dining. I love the interiors, that two-toned marble with the timber, grey and bronze. It works, it works really well. And look at what you're looking out onto. Dining table onto your garden. Artwork makes this entire room. The colours are spectacular. This is also spectacular. Great choice of wine. Through to the living room. This is a very special living room. Gosh, this chair is magnificent. So luxurious. And then, would you look at this amazing coffee table? Not just one, but seven. The pieces in here are really eclectic. Oh, that original fireplace. So many well-chosen pieces. I love this office space. Very sophisticated, very unique and eclectic in its styling. And a little kid's corner too. Oh, and Frankie. Oh, hello. <laughs> Disco powder room. This is fun. Oh, it feels like I'm in a nightclub in here. I love the dark textured wallpaper. Bronze, very special, very cool. It's disco time, baby. I love that. Shall we go upstairs? <sighs> Again, with the very wide entrance ways. These are incredible. And what else is incredible is the size of this artwork. This amazing high ceiling bedroom. A lot of light in here. Beautiful artwork. There's a really happy, light, bright, airy feel to this home. We're in kids' territory. This is Miller's room. Can I just say, Miller is one lucky girl. Look at this awesome fish wallpaper. That is super fun. Oh my gosh. And even her toys are super cute. Step away from the kids' toys. <laughs> Let's go over here. So this is, I guess, a guest bathroom. I love it, really good use of space. Again, it's got that marble and that timber combination that we saw downstairs. Master bedroom, leading out onto this beautiful veranda. This is where you get to enjoy Elwood. Looking down onto that gorgeous garden. Amazing size room. Again, the artwork in every single room is just incredible. And this has a spectacular ceramic frame to it. Huge eggshell bathtub. And that organic shape is also reflected here with these jewel seats as well. Oh, I just, I love this. There's a lot of luxury in here. Oh. Let's go downstairs. Cheeky nip, let's go get some ice.
Do you know what? I can probably sum up this home in one word and that is sophisticated. I'm probably gonna elaborate because otherwise this is gonna be a really short video, but I'm serious. This home is seriously sophisticated. The owner is an interior designer and that is clearly evident throughout. I mean, the interiors of this home are just so incredible. And I've got to admit, I've got a couple of interior designer mates and whenever I walk into their home, I basically feel like I'm a small child because everything feels so grown up, so well considered. Every single detail, every single material choice, everything is just so spot on and superb. And it's like that in this home. You can also tell that this owner has been incredibly well traveled. She spent seven years of her life in New York and that has led to some of these incredible pieces that you see in this home. We've got to talk about the artwork. The artwork is just sensational. In every single room, there's a different type of artwork. There is no rhyme or reason. It's really random and I love when artwork is random. There should never be a rule to art and the owner has just chosen pieces that she really loves and that she's really drawn to. The combination of materials is just so incredibly luxurious and just spot on. Really welcoming but really luxurious as well. It's a fine line to get there. There's beautiful marble detailing with the timber. Those timber floorboards are incredible. They are actually original floorboards that were stripped back and bleached. And there's also this amazing dark bronze that's throughout through the bathrooms and through that range hood in the kitchen. There's just all these really beautiful dark bronze elements as well. It has quite a light and airy, I'm not gonna say coastal feel but because it's so light and bright you do kind of reflect the fact that you're living close to the beach here in Elwood but ultimately it has a really classic elegant tone to it and I think the two play quite well together there's a lot of luxurious pieces mixed with pieces that aren't so luxurious and it just really works it really brings everything together and you can just tell this owner has an incredible eye for detail this home was built in 1880 so she's an old gal yes they've done a renovation but the bones of this building are absolutely incredible it is so rare to find a double fronted two story Victorian home like this in Elwood, no less. The owners loved the fact that they had a blank canvas to work on and the fact that they already had some obviously good looking things to start working with. <sighs> The main structural work that was done in this home was pretty much just in the kitchen and also upstairs where there used to be a walk-in row, they turned that into that guest bathroom. The kitchen used to be its own separate room, which was obviously a little bit pokey and closed off. So they opened it all up so it could lead out onto the dining room. The other thing the owners did was change the doors to the living and dining area. So they opened them all up, making them all beautiful big spaces, which gives you that really generous feel when you walk through. And they also restored all those incredible fireplaces that when they moved in were all all closed off and shut away. Next, the art that is on the walls in this home is truly spectacular. You've got the likes of Christian Thompson, William McKinnon, Tom Polo, Jake Walker, Caitlin Lonergan, that's just to name a few. There are some spectacular interior pieces in here as well. There's a stunning blue occasional chair in the living room, a Maltini and C chair from Milan, that coffee table, which it's coffee tables because there's seven of them. And then there's that really interesting wall sconce from Apparatus Studio from New York hanging over that incredible sculptural piece in the hallway. So I told you I was gonna be jealous and I've gotta tell you, my jealousy levels are peaking. I mean, not only is this house just truly spectacular, but it's location. The thing about Elwood is that you've got the beach on your doorstep, but you're also so close to the city. And I think this home kind of encapsulates that as well. There is no doubt that this home is super sophisticated. It's got a very urban vibe to it. At the same time, it does have a really light airy feel to it, which I think relaxes it a little bit as well. To me, this home screams New York apartment whilst at the same time reflecting the cruisy coastal vibes of Elwood. Yes, you're still here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe. We've got heaps more home tours coming and I want to know what you think. We'll catch you next time.